Okay, y'all, this is what my window looked like before the tent. And this is the tent that I'm using. And y'all know where I got it from. <laughs> Good old Amazon, honey. I'll leave the exact brand down below, but I chose the color black. They had several colors. You can choose gray. Um, they had gray, black, blue, copper, silver, and gold. I decided to go with um, black. And I'm going to do it for these windows, the screen door, and these windows. Because this old house don't got nailed to the installation. This is not pumping out water. Damn, hell, these vents are so old, they need to be replaced too. Hell, you would think that's... It's like, look how dingy that is. No matter cleaning gets that cleaned up. So, a lot that needs to be done with this house. But anyways... I was reading some reviews. They say it's difficult as hell to try to cut this. Hopefully it's not for my case. I'm going to saturate the window. I got my squeegee right here. And I'm going to show y'all then the final results. I might even show y'all um, me applying it if it's easy enough. Okay, y'all. I got part of it pull, um, put on. And you can instantly see a little difference. It's clear. But you can see it. Like, maybe if I pull back, you can see the difference. Like, look how bright it is compared to this. Now, I hope I put it on the right side. Because <laughs> it posed a darn going tint the outside and make it impossible for somebody to see the inside of the house. Let's see that right now. And then, now, this is the tricky thing. They say this non-adhesive to prevent the scratching of this. I'm supposed to put this that I peeled off the back onto the back of this. So we about to see if that actually goes onto the back like they say they do. But I'm using cleanser fluid. Um, they say soapy water, but you can use detergent as well. So I'm using um, hospital grade cleansing fluid. I'm gonna squeegee the best that I can out these. Oh, see this the you see how it's starting to die going form like then I have to constantly take it back loose, stretch it down again. Now let's see what it looks like from outside. Oh shit, see that looks horrible. So it got all that water in there. Now why does it look gray? on the outside like it's really reflective you can't see through it like you can see my reflection so I'll give y'all a difference so that's the inside yeah y'all ignore the mess y'all y'all ignore the mess versus this you can only see my reflection now I could have sworn I brought the black color this is coming up mighty silver slash transparent. Like it's not giving a black tint like I thought it was going to give. But it's highly reflective because you can see my reflection versus... Well, I guess you can see my reflection in the regular one as well, but not as much. Like when I go in, you can see this. Oh, Lord, the mess. But you cannot see from here. I'm just hoping I can get all this mess out though like this oh no like you can really tell on the outside so hopefully I can squeegee this on out I see what they talking about where you can apply the plastic covering back over to the back but that but see you it got all this though on it like you have to require so much effort to like let me pull back to see if y'all can see this like it's not really picking up on camera but in real life you can see the wrinkles if i leave this on here versus if i take this off it looks a lot better but see on the outside though i'm still seeing these wrinkles i don't squeegee as much as i can so i'm thinking is the bubbles going to dissipate because I done squeegee all that I can. So hopefully the bubbles might dissipate or this is going to look very tacky. 
but y'all know we are in the highest weather in Durangon recorded his well consistent highest weather it's not as bad today it's only like 90 well shit the fact that I can say 90 degrees is not bad but it's been constant 100 degree temperature days at first I thought I was going to lay it down this way but I was going to end up using a lot more film than necessary and like I said I also got to do these windows as well and we're going to test out does it really help with the darn going air conditioner with blocking out because this supposed to block out 99% um, of UV rays and like I said speaking of UV rays we need this UV ray to really darn go and get these air these water sp spots out because I done did all I can do on the inside so I'm going to put y'all on the tripod and let y'all see me do this right here now mind you the windows already clean you seeing streak marks because of me squeegeeing the water on out but yeah the window I made sure was thoroughly clean twice these spots and stuff y'all are seeing is from the outside. The outside needs to be clean. But let me put y'all on the tripod. Okay, y'all, we're back. So what I'm going to do is get some more in the way that I'm going. Woo! The way I'm going at it with this is I'm going this way. I'm going, um... What's this position called? I'm going horizontal as opposed to vertical because I felt like with vertical, I would have been using more film, if that makes sense. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to go horizontal with this. And like I said, if you have two people that can do this, this would be great because now I'm about to do the awkward scissor cutting. And then I'm going to take off a little bit more than necessary to compensate for if it shrinks up. And like I said, if you got two people, you won't be in these awkward positions like I am. Or if you're smart enough to tape the other side and then tape it or measure it on a flat surface. Ooh, that's going to be an awkward angle, y'all. Damn, y'all. I, I should... Ugh. This is going to be tacky, y'all. I end up cutting at an angle. Okay, spray this. Now, they say the spraying is optional. So, this time, I want to see what it's like when I don't spray this back in. And I just spray the window instead. Now I got to figure out how to get this thing on thing off. And I done, I done chip my nails. I mean, I done a, um, trim my nails, y'all. So I no longer even have long nails. And this is fairly difficult for me to find a, how to peel this off without ripping it because the little instruction thing was on this part right here so y'all see in real time the degree of difficulty of me trying to get this back peeled off and like I said I no longer have my long nails my nails are fully darn going chopped off, so this shouldn't be as difficult as it is. 
And I'm trying to be careful not to rip it because y'all know when I um, did the adhesive on my tub, I was darn going ripping a couple pieces and it was frustrating me. But hell, this shit seems a lot more durable than the adhesive contact paper. Y'all, it is literally taking me forever and a day to find how to get this darn going contact paper off the bag. The hell? Mike finally got it. Y'all, this is literally difficult. Just so y'all can see what I'm doing, I am literally trying to figure out a way to get this darn going thing peeled off. I'm trying to strategically bend it in such a way where it disrupts the backing, but not, you know, wrinkle up the actual paper. And <laughs> shit, the darn gone thing is completely dry. Maybe I should have darn gone got some water after all because hell, by the time I get this darn gone thing off, the darn gone solution is darn gone dried up on the window because like I said, I'm doing this in 90 some degree weather. Okay, I think I finally got it. God damn it. Damn. Y'all see how long that took? Oh my goodness. Shit, it took so long now I got the darn going put some more solution on the fucking window. Where's the sp oh right here? Whoo child, that didn't make not nail bit of sense. Oh, Lord, not that I was a little bit short on it. God damn. I did all that. Turned out to still be short on my measurement. Hey, that's about a bitch, y'all. I'm about to say, fuck it, this darn gonna park and be darn gonna see through. Fuck it. Okay. It's got a little bit of overlapping going on. That is apparent. Let me see how good I'll be at. Now, mind you, I ain't, in all the videos, I ain't see a, a demonstration of how the darn going to apply this adhesive on this type of darn going door, though. So, I'm the first. Ain't I'm always, y'all, I'm always the damn test dummy. I might end up ripping this part off because this measurement is all the way off. Maybe I can use all this leftover piece right here to cover up this side. Oh, now I'm starting to see what people are talking about when they say it's difficult to cut this shit. Not so much when it's dry, but more so when it's wet. Now I'm seeing if I can use this piece to cover up that little bit right here. I know, just tacky, y'all. Just 
I don't like that line of dermication. I'm going to have to cut that line of dermication out. We're going to see what it looks like from the outside. Yeah, as long as it keep us darn going cool up in this bitch, that's all that matters. Fuck what people think of it. Hell, ain't nobody coming over here any damn way. And then that also gives us a chance to see if the outside if this part up no i still see them damn bubbles like damn when them bubbles gonna darn gonna dissipate do i need to hit this bitch with a blow dryer difficult this shit would be with darn on regular water and soap. Hell, that shit will take forever with the darn going get out of here. Because the soap solution won't necessarily darn going evaporate like this would. Okay, you can clearly see a line from outside. Now, this is horrible. Let me see if I can now cut all this extra out. See, now this is leaving some of the glass exposed. I'm going to have to end up doing this all over again, y'all. Well, I guess trial and error. Well, maybe if I do the second part horizontally, that might fare. Like, thank God this shit is cheap. Thank God this only cost me darn on $11. I can darn on experiment with this. Now trimming the edges on the door, but trying not to trim so much that it exposed part of the window. And once again, like I said, with this material, it is very tricky. Now I can see why nobody did this shit on this type of darn going door. Because this is just too much. Then I really can't have none resting on here because, oh, that's going to be the ultimate test. How does this feel when I lift the window up? 
I mean, lift this screen part up. Uh oh, somebody's children, somebody parents in trouble. I see child protective services rolling on through. Guess that's about to be the ultimate test. Like, can I lift this up without this being disrupted up here? Oh, yeah, I can. Like, let's see how that works. Like, let's see how it looks now from the outside. That's with the Nargon door completely open. I meant the uh, window completely up. Once again, y'all, I'm going to have to probably redo this over. So, test one was an utter fail. Maybe this might do better on my darn gone bedroom windows. I don't know. But right now, on this type of screen, though, it, it's coming up as a fail. Extra part off. Y'all see how much film I had to cut off? Even and I'm running out of damn fit. Lord knows, is this only going to be enough for the screen door? Like, this was seven feet of film. Oh, this is an expensive darn going ten dollar lesson, real quick, y'all. do better if I go like this darn on vertical. Oh, y'all, I ain't even got enough for the whole window. Ain't that better, bitch, y'all? So the little bit that I brought don't even cover a full screen door. Dearly noted. I wish I had my tablet on or my computer on so I can tell y'all which one. Like, oh my God, so this doesn't even cover a full darn on screen door. This is some mess. This is some bullshit, y'all. I'm doing all of this thing and I have something to spare and you telling me that this doesn't even cover the full screen? Lord Jesus. $10 down the drain. And then I still, people can still see up here ironically. This some bullshit, y'all. This some bull skit. I got to buy another thing. I got to buy another round of this, y'all. Hell, I might as well finish this damn dough while I'm at shit. It ain't going to be enough for nothing else. Y'all, I'm literally hot as fish grease right about now. 
Let me turn my darn going light on, on this thing. Nearby outlet, the plug y'all in. Ooh, can I stretch that far? Let there be light. Oh, hell, that really didn't make much difference. Maybe if I turned the Oh, well, hell, and then y'all on the highest setting. Okay. Let's see how this goes horizontal, y'all. I, I still can't believe this. I just knew that this was going to cover seven windows. It says seven feet worth of material. For future reference, does anybody have a trick for this type of situation? Hell, finding a damn needle in a haystack would be easier than this shit. Okay, there we go. Finally. when I thought I had it, y'all. I guess it's a good thing that I'm blacked out right about now on this camera. If y'all only y'all can see my pissed off face expression. Okay, there we go. still noticing a similar bumpy result.
And like I said, maybe hopefully the folks might Orange tabby cat. Once again, y'all, I'm going to take y'all outside with me to see this. Now I'm starting to see why nobody did this type of door, because, honey, this is hectic. It truly is. Okay, y'all can see me a little bit clearly. So I'm cutting out all these edges so it just is in line with the door only. I mean the window only. Now on the advertisement, they say, oh, this is so easy. Meanwhile, if you ain't no damn borderline DIY professional, honey, this thing is anything but easy. And like I said, all this, and you telling me I ain't even got enough for the screen door, Okay, y'all, uh, once again, let me take y'all outside with me. This is what it looks like thus far. Y'all see the stark difference? It almost makes it look like it's a shadow right here. Now we're going to go outside. And like I said, this ain't even an advertised color that I got because does this look black to y'all? Does this look black to y'all? This looks more like that darn on silvery gold tone color. Yeah, matter of fact, it is coming off very silverish. Oh, you can see the lights a little bit. So that, so it's still not even a hundred percent darn going. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's still like not even a hundred percent tint because you can still see lights in it, and especially at night they say. But just in general, somebody has to be real close up. Oh, now that I get close up, you can see the ring light and stuff. And to the naked eye, if you can get past your reflection, you can see people in the house. Yeah, so if you got a light on, or in my case, a ring light, you can definitely see inside the house.
Little do he know he's serving this good darn gonna demonstration for this video. Cause y'all see what he looks like from the tent and without the tent. Let me try to put on this last piece, y'all, and see if I can savage this shit. I can't believe I wasted a whole ten dollars, y'all. This is ooh. Switch over. Can't believe I wasted a whole ten dollars, y'all. And I think this costs a little bit more than that. Y'all got to see a little bit of muscles. Not my particular cup of tea. Y'all know normally I say, woo, trade. That ain't trade, honey. That's just regular street dude. Oh, this last piece is just being completely non-compliant. You know what? After all this, maybe I should have just paid the $100 and just had people actually tent this. You know what you say? You get what you pay for. Because this is really coming off like a $10 darn gone result.
Okay, y'all, this is the final result. This is what it looks like from the inside. Da, 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 da. Honey, kill the price is right music because this is all types of wrong. Honey, all these, you see all these stripes? This is all the overlapping that I had to do. And this is how much film I have left. So this might be just enough for like a small part of my window, which I am not going to do today. It's five o'clock. I don't waste a whole hour of my damn life darn going doing this shit for y'all. Switch the camera over. But yeah, y'all, I did it for them damn nosy neighbors out there, honey. Because they always be outside and then it's like we can't never have our door open because number one, this hell for don't know how to clean and it's like they don't need to be seeing all this junky shit in the darn going um <laughs> in our house or whatnot so i said honey not only is this going to serve as a form of uv protection and matter of fact now that i'm noticing it is feeling more cool towards this window like i don't have a fancy uh meter you know uh temperature check meter or whatnot an air gun meter but i can tell you i can literally feel a difference now let's see if the room overall will feel like well hell it is because like i said the door is wide open and i got my ac hell my ac is on 75 y'all oh my god Usually, I have to have my AC down to 66 to just to feel this type of relief up in this room. So, yeah, y'all, this is actually doing quite a bit of difference. Only thing is, this darn gone little bit that I had for $10 ain't cutting it. And this is supposed to be 7 feet. Like, how in the hell is this 7 feet? Now, granted, I, I did cut out quite a bit. But, goddamn, I ain't cut out. I ain't. Oh, I still have that. And I have. Well, hell, that ain't enough. Like, I, those are all the extras that I ended up cutting out that I can't use. And then that's my soapy water in the Jane Carter bottle. Mixed in with my cleaning solution, but... Oh, wait a minute, y'all. I got two pieces left. So I got this piece right here. And I got this piece right here, so... Okay, we might have enough for a little bit of my window. Child, y'all know Diva Wine likes the, uh, honey, Diva Wine don't believe in wasting. Like, all this, I can't darn gonna use down here, so we're gonna keep that down there. But, let me take y'all outside. Hopefully, these neighbors don't say nothing to me. I got my bonnet on and everything. Just ghetto. Let's see if they can e actually even see me talking to y'all. I don't know. Ah, I'm not liking this, y'all. It because the line of demarcation is still apparent. Like, oh, now see that is gonna piss me the fuck off. That right there is gonna piss me the fuck off. Like, yeah, you can see the lines real clearly. Maybe if I, yeah. Now, I do like from a distance, though, you can't see in. But once again, you see all these watermarks, though. So, like I said, is this going to... I'm just hoping like hell that this dissipates as the heat hits it. But, I don't know, I might have to squeeze you this to death. But aesthetically, this is not... Yeah, this is definitely not pleasing to the eye. If I had to give this a rating, I'm going to have to give it a... I'm gonna have to give it a C minus. Because the only reason why I'm giving it a C is because it's actually blocking out the UV rays. But y'all don't see me squeegee this to death. And it's still. Oh. Y'all don't see me squeegee this to death. And it's still not really doing what it's supposed to do. Once again, let me show y'all a close up. Like. I am squeezing, squeezing. Like how much I'm supposed to be doing of this shit? And then if I do this too hard, this part can still come loose. Like when does it actually stick? So now I'm starting to see the complaints that people are talking about that this is not fully sticking. 
like it's supposed to, especially this last part. It took me forever. That's why I ain't even cut this off. Like, I ain't even try to cut this part loose because it's like, fuck it. How long? It took me a good 15 minutes alone just to get this last block. So, however it looks from the outside, it, it's just going to be it is what the fuck it is. I'm just hoping, like, whenever the sun hits, because the thing is, my, the time of day that I'm doing this, the shadow is, damn, I can't speak proper, y'all. This is why I can't do shit without um, eating, but maybe early tomorrow morning when the sun is hitting my darn on door directly, because right now, the, my house is in the shade. That's what I'm trying to say. It's partially in the darn going shade but let me turn my lights out in the house and see what it's like but this is an unrealistic si well no because i can have the tv on let's see what it's like if i have the tv on oh you know i created a dark effect in here too okay i'm liking this darn going tint because normally it'd be way more bright okay so it actually tints the house is wet. Once again, I can't speak proper. Well, shit, <laughs> y'all. It the tent also has like a shade effect where it's not allowing light to really come through. You can fully see through it if that makes sense. Oh, of course, since I got my darn gone tripod plugged in for y'all, I got to unplug it and plug back the TV. Now, don't ask me why my sorry ass uncle. And the demon have a, a cheap ass grill. And y'all see what I got to deal with, y'all? This been here for a whole week. Why is there a grill? A grill, an empty water bottle, a, a water glass, and a thing of coals still in the living room. <sighs> the shit that I have to deal with, y'all. But... Y'all see my thermostat is on 75. Normally for me to feel this cool up in here, I would have to have it down to like 60. Okay, that should be enough. So let's see what it looks like outside one more time. Y'all paid it. We gonna pay these neighbors dust, y'all. Okay. Shit. <laughs> well, hell, it's doing the main purpose that it's supposed to do. Block the darn on nosy people in, in the back of me. Well, hell, y'all can't see, but it's blocking the nosy people in the back of me from seeing into my house. Like I said, these water spots, though, these water spots. So, once again, this side versus this side. This side this side so yeah y'all i rate it oh shoot i rate this a total of a c out of a darn going i'm going to grade it seven out of ten because like i said a lot a lot of me that's what it looks like from in the house i'm over it it's five something in the afternoon. I'm just going to go ahead and just call it a damn day. Like I said, it's blocking the darn gone nosy people from watching across the darn gone way. Matter of fact, if I zoom in, y'all can actually. Well, no, I ain't going to do that because, honey, then I have to uh, go through the stress of blurring these darn gone holes out. But that is it, y'all. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This was a other fail. Now, maybe if I buy the larger version, things might be different. Like, if I can get one that can go across the whole entirety of my screen. Because this one obviously didn't do it. This little seven feet one didn't do it. And I don't know why, because my darn gone window is not seven feet across. 
Or maybe I got the length. Maybe that's the length. Like, whatever the width is, I need to take the width of my windows first and get one where it's large enough across where I don't have to do multiple sessions because y'all see how good the top part is. It only started getting janky when I started having to cut into several different pieces. And unlike my bathroom where I did the adhesive towel, right? Honey, even the fly can't even connect to the Aragon glass. But um, unlike the adhesive, which has the brick material, and you know you couldn't see these mistakes, obviously you're seeing these mistakes very clearly with this right here. So, for this type of darn on screen door, yeah, I would not recommend. Now, if you got the all, like, if you got the screen door that don't come up, like, it's all just one, that would have been ideal. Like, I could see that this would have been perfect if I had, like, a screen door where the window didn't come up. It was just all one solid glass. Like, I really think that this is what this material is for. And that's the only reason why I'm not giving it an F is because of the fact that um, I've, I've never seen nobody do this on this type of screen door. I only seen them do it on the screen door that has the one solid glass. But that is it, y'all. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. Hopefully, the demon cleans up her darn on second living space. Because her room is hot as hell. And hence why she darn going to turn this into her darn going junkie second room. Like I said, I got to get away from him. And after the tragedy that happened today, and I'll tell y'all more about that um, later on in a video. I, after the tragedy that struck me today, yeah, my days are here numbered. So, yeah, it is what it is. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. And for people who are looking at this on Amazon and don't have no clue what I'm talking about, Check out my other videos on YouTube to get the backstory of my living situations. <laughs>
but from the naked eye I can actually see fully in my bathroom versus I can't see through that at all so yeah I'm definitely going to buy some more because this is definitely easier to put on these types of windows right here versus the screen door and like I said if I had the type of screen door where it was just one solid glass it would have been way easier or even if it's like this you can just put it all over at once but that is it y'all like I said I still rate this um I still rate this what seven out of ten I know some things was on me that I did wrong but like I said, y'all seen how I squeegeed the hell out of this yesterday. And for it to look like this is completely horrendous. I don't know. I might go with a whole different company when I buy the, the next round. But this is what it once again looks like from the inside. Along with the bathroom window. And like I said, I squeegeed this the darn on death. And I just can't get rid of them darn gone bubbles. No matter which direction I go in. Whether I go up, down, side to side. So that's another thing I don't like. But hell, like I said, I ain't worried about the aesthetic of what people view it on the outside. But if you were in a more established neighborhood... And not the ghetto like me. Uh, yeah, this definitely is going to look horrendous on the outside. But if you're like me and you're in the hood. And you're just trying to prevent people from being able to fully see in your uh, windows. When you don't have the blinds um, drawn down. This will suffice. But like I said, if you're in a decent neighborhood. Yeah, this one ain't necessarily the way to go. But that is it, y'all. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos.